Hi guys, welcome to Rachel Jess. Today we have a bit of a change of scenery. Um, like many people who have just are coming out of lockdown, we've had a shift around with make believe offices at home and dining tables shifted. So today this is our view with the wonderful turtles behind us. So, talking of lockdown and quarantine, it's been hard, hasn't it? It has been for some people a real challenge um, and for others it's been an opportunity to learn new skills. But what it's also meant that us parents have had to try and homeschool our children in some way um, as teachers as well and I've been very fortunate my son's school has sent us some fabulous work to do but we've also been doing life skills so we've been sewing and we've been cooking and we've been doing videos. Today, I want to show you this really fantastic company which will help with filling in the gaps, especially over the um, summer holidays which are coming up with less support from the schools. The company is called Recycle Me. These are brilliant. And the idea is you get um, an element of the products sent to you or um, items sent to you such as labels, wire, paper clip, pens, marbles, um, and you can make, with this particular one, you can make five games out of your recycling. We are talking out of your plastic bottles, out of your egg cups, your egg cartons, and your toilet rolls. Now, we, when we received our Recycle Me box, we had literally just put our recycling out into our big recycling bin. So um, the, far, the first job was to find nine toilet rolls and a couple of egg cartons. And my son loved that. I think that was probably the best bit. And um, so we were, and obviously it's clean, isn't it? Because we have to put our recycling away. So it's not like we're run, running around in the, in the dirty rubbish. And um, we were just having a midge about. And we got everything we needed to make these games. Um, so this one, as I said, is for five, and it has come with pink paper. We haven't completed all our tasks, which is for our, um, I think that's jellyfish, so it's for our jellyfish, so we haven't made the jellyfish yet. And we've got um, yellow paper for fins and um, orange foam. Now what we did do, um, if we've made a couple of the games and we've got a couple of games. I love this, 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 dead simple, five second game. The idea is you get five bottles. So you've got, uh, we've, we've only, yeah, five good sized bottles. Give them a good clean out. Stickers that come with it. So these stickers go on your bottle, six of them. Get your bean bag, tennis ball, stone. Get in the garden, chuck it, knock down alley, chuck, uh, knock the bottles down. And not only are you recycling, making a new game, creating an activity with your children, you're getting their exercising as well, aren't you? You can throw them as well, they can run after them. Perfect. So, like I said, there's five games to make. That's the bottles being one of them. The instructions are very straightforward um, so you get a little book and you get little pictures of how to make your games so as I said this one is you've got your bottles you put your stickers on jobs are good and you've got your bowl and you throw it out the one that we're currently making are the uh, sea creatures so we're in the proceeds of this so this you require your paper and your um, pipe cleaners which I think is silly, honestly. Keep your box because whatever you don't complete in your day, you need to you need to put all your bits and pieces back in. So these are our pipe cleaners. So we've got pipe cleaners to make, and then we have spent the day. Well, the day we have spent our crafting session painting and cutting toilet rolls, all different sizes. So as I just said, we're still in the proceeds of making these ones. So my yellow one, as per my instructions, it's been painted and cut. I've now got to 
draw a couple of fins on my paper and then glue it to my toilet bowl and then most importantly which I don't know about anybody else but anybody that's got crafting in children there's no way these aren't lying around your entire house I mean I mean who hasn't walked around with one of these on their foot please don't tell me I'm on my own with this it's not the first time we've found little woggly googly eye stuck to something it shouldn't be so that's uh, the next game so then you stick these on and you create um, fishing hooks so you, uh, go, you go fishing get a twig add a bit of string and then you can go fishing for your, your I mean these are just toilet rolls painted with a bit of I mean it's brilliant the idea but isn't it always the idea is so simple but it's perfect isn't it I mean and this is these are five crafts this particular one is age four plus but that's your craft for the day i mean it's absolutely perfect just get in there before recycling the recycling man comes along otherwise you'll have to wait a little bit but to be fair when you get when you get one of these boxes it does say on the back the additional items that you need and if you haven't got nine toilet rolls then you just store them up i mean we've got a cardboard box and we were storing bits until we got everything that we needed i mean but let's focus gonna well we have nine new rolls because i don't know it's just like one of those things you accumulate isn't it like the egg boxes it might just be a case of you keep them just in case so what we also made was the shark and the fish now i'm assuming this is like a you, you i don't read really, it hasn't given me the might give me the instructions and um, obviously this is my son loved making this one and I think the idea is you try and I'm not going to do it because he's he's still wet but I think the idea is you try and catch your fish in the shark sort of thing so here's now if you're precious about making things just right I would strongly don't advise you create for children at all but this is our fish he's made from two parts of an egg carton the red paper and his eyes and his luscious lips now our shark is another one of uh, the coke bottles one of the bottles um my son made the shape and then i cut it because there was no way he was getting a pair of scissors through this without help so i cut it and he then painted his i think he's fabulous he's missing his fin at the moment um he did hand it to me and I put it on the side to dry never to be seen again so that'll turn up probably on the bottom of my foot and um, so we need to make another fin so this is our shark and this is our fish and this is possibly my son's favorite game so we've got the fish and we've got the bottles and we've got the sea creatures and we've got two more games to come so the the last two are dead simple so these are cans all you need is six cans, five cans, six cans or five. We had five big ones and a little one. Um, you get the stickers and you just literally wrap that round a can. King Can Alley. Ball, same balls you use for your bottles or if you haven't got the bottles. I could just fab, aren't they? And then you just stack them up like you do. I mean, our technique of wrapping these around leaves a lot to be desired but if the children aren't getting involved in making it it i they lose a little bit of interest don't they so there's six stickers for this one just stick it around this one's got googly eyes in it which is like battling and it's that simple and you could just use tins can't you you could decorate and paint your tins like I've done a video on um, Halloween post, uh, tins before now, wrapping them up as mummies. But this is so cool. It's so simple. If you've got the labels, wrap it round, off you go. Set it as far away as possible. Try and knock them down. 
and then you've got to run and get them there's your exercise let's let's do all this in one go so you're getting a bit of recycling in so we can educate the children on the environment and you're getting your crafting and um, creativity side in and then you're getting your exercise in so you get so you know that's some big ticks there when they go back to school um my son is telling them that he's made a pair of shorts on the sewing machine and uh, you know he's learned to bake and weigh things out and how to play video games and enjoy himself on the xbox you know it's just spending time with them this is what the children are going to remember it's not going to be you know the the upsetting times of i mean it will be that they miss their friends but it'll also be i didn't see my friends but i made some fantastic games out of rubbish with my mom and we spent a week playing them or i sat and read with my dad or you know i sat and watched telly with granddad or listened to stories and watched friends on on the computers we need to um we've got to embrace it because this has happened whether we like it or not and we've just got to love our children and spend that time with them and i know people are working and we've got key workers and i work full time um but it's those times it's those mad times of making tins with weird faces or making a marble run out of toilet rolls that the children are going to remember you know you could put these ones you don't need a garden i mean you don't need a garden for any of this you can put these on the table so there's supposed to be six of these but i miscounted and ended up with i think four or there's supposed to be five of them they need it they need a good um a good rub down the stickers because they do they were peeling up slightly so get your glue and just stick those down and then you get the marbles come with the recycle me box and you just set them up roll it down roll it down the table you can't you, you can't beat it can you i mean these 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 products you can get from amazon and they vary in prices and i will put a link on rachelgess.com um with the prices and a, a picture of all you don't it doesn't have to be fish there are many many robots and dinosaurs and unicorns now as i said i'll put all the details on rachel jess but the reason why the re look at this this is look at this one this is unicorn city and this you also need like an um, orange juice carton toilet rolls and it looks like a kitchen roll some bottles and a 12 box of egg cartons so that's what you need and you get oh, you get paints and you get more paint and papers and stickers and you get to, you get look you get to create a fairy and rainbows and a wand an all important unicorn and this is a nice big heavy box you know you're getting a lot of stuff in this and the reason why i am explaining this one to you i'm going to give it away it's it's sealed and um i will run a raffle copter over on rachelgess.com and i will pick a winner and send it on to you and as i've got it I can send it as soon as you send me your details so why don't you head on over to my website i will leave a link below um but let me know what you think let me know what you think of these i think i i don't know why they haven't been around forever and i will catch you all later enjoy your days and enjoy your children take care